So, as the golden light of Joan Vassos and Charles Chalk Chapel <laughs> fades away, there's a new glimmer on the horizon. Grant Ellis. We now have two teasers that hath dropped for his season. We're going to be looking at both of them in this state of the game, breaking them down, talking about what we expect to come out of his season, and really what it means for the future of the franchise coming out of what was... A decently put together Joan Vasso season, I think, but ratings wise, an unmitigated disaster. City. And we'll be getting to that in gains as well. These and specific ratings. By the way, but. we will have the trailers in our YouTube video of this. If you are only listening to it on audio and you want to watch along with us, sound uh, off in the comments correct. which trailer you think is better. <laughs> what is there even come on all right let's take a look at the first one, which is on the official Bachelor Nation Instagram account. Um, you know, it's hard to even describe what this is. It's Grant mm -hmm. standing in front of a white background with a little card that he holds up and it says he's in premiere January 27th. This whole thing is about seven seconds long, maybe I would guess there's mm -hmm. some music. Can I steal you for a second? I have a very important date for you. This there's is just, it's bad. AI rose, rose petals falling from the sky. AI. You is that. green screened to hell into this. Like you can't just get a white background. I'm so confused. These initial kind of trailers, they do this all the time. It's before they have got him in there to shoot his promotional stuff. They don't know what the poster is going to be yet. They're mm -hmm. just like throwing it out to have yeah, the date out some, there. Him to say the date. Basically. Yes. And so these things are very rushed. There is almost no thought or effort put into them. It is simply the information. You need to see this on January 27th. But that is their first impression they're giving us of this bachelor. I think that these little things they do like this, these just kind of throwaway announcements of the date are terrible. Absolutely terrible. They, they don't get anyone excited. It looks like shit. People are going to think the season is like shit. <laughs> And I know it's you've your still got first, it's your first debut of Grant. Yeah. On the social media. It should be polished. It should be so I good. I mean, it's giving I mean, we already went into the the video he did for Good Morning America. Speaking of green yeah. screen, that that looked like it was recorded on a. I don't know, a cell phone from the year 2000, a Motorola Razor. Yeah, I mean, it, a, it was very uh, bad. Sidekick? And it's this is kind of like, I mean, we talk about this a lot on the show, but you look at uh, shows like Love is Blind or Love Island, any of the kinetic shows, any of the more modern dating shows, they don't do this. Their shit looks good always. The graphics are good. It's polished. It looks like they care about what they're making. Mm -hmm. This does not look like that. That said. Well, they have a lot less time than the Love is Blind people, obviously. Yeah, they have years to put together <laughs> those packages. Year to, yeah, four yeah, years to do the We shot this Love is Blind in 1978. We're going to be airing <laughs> it next February. All the people in it have died of natural causes. Um, the, I also like, they had him film this, obviously, with a blank card. He's holding this Bachelor Photoshop card that says the date on it. Why, if you know you don't know the date, why ever even put this in there? You can put the date in the caption or as of... Yeah. A font that goes across you know what the this top. Video you should don't need have been. it to be here. This video should have been. You take Grant, bring him out to LA for a weekend, and you have him just go up to people on the street and be like, Hi, I'm Grant Ellis. I'm the next bachelor. My season airs January 27th. And you get a couple mm -hmm. of reactions of people being like, Oh my God, it's the bachelor. Oh, some excited. Yeah, taking pictures with them. Yeah, it takes you one day, it takes you an afternoon to shoot that. Instead, we get this, go to the which Grove. gives nothing. Go to the Americana. Or the just have him looking yeah. like charming and in charge. The like charm the in shirt, charge. I like that. It, Charms in charge. There's something ill-fitting about the shirt situation. Oh. I don't know. I don't know about Luckily, that. this isn't the only offering we got this week um, from the Bachelor social media. Because I, honestly, when I saw this, I was devastated. I was like, oh, they're tanking the show. I wasn't devastated. Like, they do this. This, mm -hmm. this is pretty much their game plan every season. Then. Yeah. But I somewhere, still get devastated every season. <laughs> somewhere in late December or early January, most likely, you're going to see the real promotion start to roll out where we get the poster. We don't know what that's going to be yet. It looks from this trailer we're now about to watch the, the big one that aired at the end of Golden Bachelorette. 
It's almost two minutes plus long, I think. You see some things that are starting to emerge in there. He's musical. He's he's singing songs. He's so rapping. many things. I that can't could wait be to a part of it. his his ultimate poster. We don't know, but let's take a look at this. Uh, the well, real teaser that they showed at the end that, of Golden Bachelorette finale. Are you ready? You're saying this? that this can't be done well. There is only one really that stands out in my mind that they did like this, which is Joey Grazia Day. 30 mm-hmm. seconds of uninterrupted eye contact with Joey Grazia Day. And it just yeah. like slowly pans in on his eyes and then he like gives a little wink. That's all you got to do. Just yeah. do the same thing. It's just some bullshit that they're shooting while they're shooting other promotional stuff on the day. They just like slop it in there, but they don't understand like this is really your first presentation of the next lead of your entire franchise. It has to be better than this. That said, let's take a mm-hmm. look at this, this, uh, the whole long thing that we're going to see in the Golden Bachelorette at the end of the Golden Bachelorette. Are you ready, Pace Case? Let's watch it. I'm ready. Here we go. Grant really does like check everybody's boxes. Tall, handsome, smart, hottest bachelor ever. Like, where did y'all find this man? Grant is authentic. He is genuinely seeking a wife and a mother for his kids. Cinderella can take a full back seat because this is like next level type of love. I just want to roll with the top fan. Grant is a man of many talents. We don't know. Music is a very integral part to be able to express myself. I'm ready to get married. I'm ready to find my wife. I'm ready to have kids. I'm ready for everything. I love you. I can see her as my wife. I'm falling for you. I'm not used to dating emotional guys that like Uh, write new songs and play the piano Uh, and I'm having the best time of my life. (laughs) (laughs) Obviously I'm sharing you with so many women. That's so unnatural to me. Do you mind if I steal you? Again? I didn't even talk to him yet. You've talked to him four times today. You want to talk about aggressive? You're aggressive. I shot my shot. Everybody just really wants Grant. I will kick her ass. I'm not kidding you. And we're all fighting for his love. Carolina, if you act and like you I don't understand. care and you don't want to be here. He when... knows how I feel. I guess I'm crazy and evil. You backstabbed me and you did me dirty. I did not know how hard this was going to be. My greatest fear is that I end up alone. So this is the lone wolf that symbolizes being alone. Growing up, I always put on that face that I was okay. So my family didn't know that I was lonely. But moving into the future, I don't want that to be a theme in my life anymore. I love the man that you become. You're my heart, man. I want the best for you. You deserve happiness, son. I want to be happy. I want to have love. It's something that's important to me. But I'm scared of making the wrong decision. You feel like you know what you want to do? The truth is, I don't know. We got both women. They're here on standby. And of course, I have to know which one to send first. That was <laughs> riveting. There's no other way to put it. The There's so much in it. There is Grant singing. There is Grant rapping. There is a group date basketball. There is a Cinderella group date, it looks like, that has other guys doing a ballroom dance with mm-hmm. other women Bridgerton. that may or may not be players. Is a that a Bridgerton, group date? Bridgerton, like 20 extras paid to dance around. I think that's the pretty woman date. And I think ah, they just got all these dancers to like dance around them. They're doing um, a bungee date. Do you remember by chance the nude bungee date? Yes, I do. Hannah Brown and Jed Wyatt. And the um, slut shaming that followed. Of course. Of course. It Any be bungee. Without that. I mean, once I've seen the nude bungee date, it's like what you're going to do it with clothes yeah. on. You're going to do a worse thing now. <laughs> <laughs> by the way right. i literally have chills again i've watched this trailer yeah. multiple times mm-hmm. there's not a dry face in sight 
the shot of him kissing the woman who's actively got tears rolling yeah. down her face. Chills. This season's going to be big, I think. Um, a lot of heavy hitters in this. You can see villains, rivalries, all kinds of stuff is happening. One yes. thing that I was very surprised by was the lone wolf tattoo. To imagine yourself Close. or think of yourself as a lonely person is one thing. To get a tattoo that commemorates that piece of your identity forever is another thing. And he's going it's to have to explain tattoo. that. Gigantic. It's his primary. It is a big tattoo. I love that it is like incorporated into the theme of his season. Whether that's true or not of like why he got that tattoo doesn't matter oh to God. me. Are you what? right now issuing a conspiracy theory that the wolf tattoo has nothing to do with him being lonely? That that's a manufactured narrative? I don't know. So maybe he likes Twilight. One... <laughs> <laughs> He's Team Jacob. <laughs> that's, he has you that know, part he crossed want, out. You know, yeah. Jacob, he, you know, he got mocked a lot and maybe he was just trying to support him. That's hilarious. That would be so funny. He's like, fuck if, Robert yeah, Pattinson. At the very bottom of the tattoo, it says hashtag Team Jacob and he's yeah. like, this is my my lone wolf tattoo it represents me being lonely in my life. But why does it say Team Jacob? Oh, don't look at that part. Yeah. <laughs> is that a little? <laughs> is that vampire teeth? No, yeah. no, don't, babe, babe, don't look at that. Um, yeah. It's, I mean, we haven't seen a, a focus on a tattoo like this since Casey on The Bachelorette, Guard and mm -hmm. Protect Your Heart, got a tattoo in season. I yeah. love it used as this device for for his season i love the amount of grant tears that we see i love the delivery of the line by that woman who goes she did me dirty <laughs> <laughs> yeah somebody's so doing somebody good. dirty it just looks like and the end of it that grant i mean at least as they're presenting it in this edit that grant on the day doesn't know who he's gonna propose to could be either one of them that's not true who knows? I mean, they always trick us in these these trailers to yeah. like build up some final moment to be more than it actually is. We don't know. But but my doll is, is on the floor. I've been tricked before. Yeah. I'll be tricked again. This might be it. But like. We have not had this happen since season seven, Charlie O'Connell, where the lead wasn't able to decide. And then he asked if he could date each of the final people for three months. I don't think you can get yeah. away with that now. I agree. Um. We did have but, something kind of similar to it in season 24 pilot Pete, but it was from the opposite end. It was, is the woman going to show up and pilot Pete didn't know at the final rose ceremony, if the person he was going to pick was even coming Hannah and Celeste, of course, one of the greatest mm -hmm. players of all time, greatest night, one player of all time, I think hands down, um, the fake out. Yeah. The fake out where they tried to torture him, but that's where we are. That's the state of the game is we, uh, we've just concluded this, uh, inaugural season of golden bachelorette, which, I think was a a decently produced season. It yielded mm -hmm. an engagement that may yield a wedding that may last longer than the Gary Turner Teresa Ness wedding. We don't know. Time will tell. But we are now looking forward to 2025 with Bachelor season 29, Grant Ellis, only the second black bachelor in the history of the show. And it looks to I be at, at, I need you. <laughs> I hope that's through the whole season. I hope he does not wait. stop singing. I'm gonna remix that song. But um, yeah, I, I think that this teaser, that first little thing they dropped did nothing to get me enthusiastic about the season. Mm -hmm. This thing, I am glued to it. I cannot yeah. wait for this season. And for what it's worth, I'll just say on a personal note, I coach players to go into this game and have been doing it for about the past three years. I had some players lined up for this season that didn't make the cut who were like, astounding players amazing pedigrees mm -hmm. in any other season i think they would have gotten in this one just has some different type of players in it so i think we are going to potentially see uh the bar raised for what players can even do in the course of a season well it sounds like Time there's going to be some sort of a new york or new jersey accent in there someone mm -hmm. with a hard accent i like that i the DLP being like, well, I got to know which car to send first. Yeah. My jaw was on the floor. I know. Ugh. I hope it's a real um, thing and I haven't been tricked again, but I think we'll it see. is. <laughs> I just it, it's hard for me to see a way around him asking that. Yeah. If he's asking Grant, I need to know who to send first. Yeah. Come on, you got to tell me that seems like 
unless that happens on like a group date or something where the order mat i don't know it, it could be taken way out of context but if that is indeed the final like that's not path of pain but they're both in yeah i guess they're always in suits which car to send first but when when else does that come up night one a dual car i don't group know date yeah i don't know i'm just saying we've been tricked before yeah it could be tricking us here again but i'm enthusiastic about the season nonetheless i think we are in a, a good place this past year gave us some very interesting stuff in the nation for sure it gave us a, a stellar season with bachelor season 28 joey grazia day that ended with him engaged to kelsey anderson obviously he's currently on dancing with stars we'll get to that in the news then we went right into Jen Trans season, which kind of started in disaster. It was going to be Daisy Kent. Then it was going to be Maria Georgia. She had the crown for a couple of days. Then Jen Tran gets slotted in there. They tell us all these things about how they have their leads back and leads of color. They're going to present them in better ways. All of this gets thrown to the side in service of Devin Strader winning the ring and the producers forcing Jen to rewatch her proposal, which should have been this groundbreaking moment. Instead, it was a moment mm -hmm. of trauma for her leading into a golden bachelorette season that had but it was historical all the yeah. same Her of proposing. course of course 